What's up guys, Cat here bringing you a quick little tutorial on a couple cool tricks I can uh, show you in Cinema 4D and uh, render settings. So it's uh, really basic uh, stuff. Um, I hope uh, this helps you. Um, I'm also looking for uh, more tutorial ideas at which you can put those in descriptions. If you're running uh, out of ideas to give me, go ahead and look at some past speed arts and uh, if anything interests you on how to do something, go ahead and uh, leave a comment. So. I'm gonna get started with the render settings now. If you see this uh, three bars here, go ahead and click on these, uh, the far right one, um, and you should be at general. Um, I then go to output, and you want 1920 by 780. I mean 1080. Well, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much the best quality, and. If you go to uh, save here, you can basically just save it, uh, if you click on these three dots, just save it wherever you want and you're all good. You want the format to be on PNG, 8-bit, uh, every, leave everything the same, and have alpha channel selected. Uh, Multipass, you don't need anything. Uh, Anti-aliasing, you want to put on best and 1x1 one one and 2x2. Two two. Um, options, leave everything the same. Uh, if, we, uh, if you go to effect, these are already on here because this is some old text that I did, but if you go to effect and go to global illumination, it should be under G by glow. And then uh, uh, you, if your computer is uh, not as good, you can lower the render settings and details, but uh, or in uh, irradiant cache, but it shouldn't be much of a problem unless it's a really advanced light kit or something or materials so then if, again if you go to effect uh, it should be the first one on there ambient occlusion I'll leave everything the same except for put the contrast to 50 and uh, now we uh, render our text real fast okay guys so this is what our text would look like right now um I think I'm gonna if you guys want, uh, leave a comment if you want the file for this text. It's very basic and I did it a long time ago. Um, it has some materials with it. Actually, a lot of materials. But anyway, just just let me know, okay? So, uh, um, but now we're going to show you a cool little trick. If you go to your render settings again and go to effect and go to cell render. Um, basically, this thing's going to pop up. So we render it now, it should go a lot faster. I'll just let you guys sit through it. Ba -ba. You'll see that, uh, you'll see how the, uh, it's all outlined. All your materials and lighting is gone. It just leaves the cell render, as it calls it. Um, and this is really helpful in Photoshop. If you le don't change your camera angle, you can put it straight over the original text, so you render both. And uh, you can uh, put it to, I believe, it's color dodge, or just play around with the layer style settings till you get so the lines show up. And then you can erase the ones you want. You can even uh, use the pen tool tips I showed you in the previous tutorial to make some of them glow or not. And the final thing I'm going to show you is you can, by clicking edges and then changing the background color to whatever you want, maybe uh, you want like a, like a dark blue, I mean it makes no sense, but actually no, we'll go with like a pretty bright green, oh, whoops, like a decently bright green, hit OK, and the background color is black you can just exit out like that and if you hit render you'll see now that we check the edges it will show a ton of more lines in between the text so uh, this is basically gonna wrap the tutorial up um, just one quick thing uh, follow my Twitter at Catful uh, link will be in the description as always uh, have a good day and as you can see it uh, cuts lines through it and it looks pretty cool especially if you use it on the background you can even blow it up and lower the opacity. So I, uh, I hope this helped you out, guys. Uh, remember to leave a like 
and uh, put in the description what else you want to see from my tutorials. So, thank you and bye.